did hook the logger up to the power system. We now have some uh, biomass going. Uh, stick some of that in there. Uh, we need to refill it with water though. Eventually I'm going to get something um, to make more water. It looks like we need more plant balls in there as well. We only have three, so I have a bunch of this stuff in a chest here. Go ahead and put that in here to make more plant balls. And we'll just set this off running. Let's put a supply of uh, lava in here so it can warm up and get running. I need to place this in here. I'm going to put this compost in this chest. And since I had the shears on me, I'm going to grab some vines. This, uh, this water structure looks a little bare, so I figured I would put some vines on it to spruce it up a bit. Oh, I don't think I can get up there. It's a nice big area up here. These are all half slabs, so the mobs shouldn't spawn up here, but I'm going to light it up anyway. And then I have some vines. I'm just going to place those and let them spread over the sides. This will be a nice easy way to get up the side if we need to for whatever reason. Eventually, as the Arboretum uh, gets going, or the Arboretum slash Logger combo gets going, you'll get m way more saplings than you can use, and you can feed saplings into um, into the biomass generator, the fermenter, um, equally well as plant balls. But for now, uh, when it's just starting, there's not enough saplings to go around, so generally I just try to take all the leaves off the trees and use those instead. Did we not get any saplings? Or we didn't have the image? No? Where did the saplings go? Usually I would get saplings from doing that, but I'm not seeing any. Maybe I dropped outside of it. No, there's some leaves here though. Let's grab those. Let's make another eight of these. I'm keeping my eye out for creepers. I'm not seeing any right now, so. Oh, it ran out. So we're just in time with making those. engine's doing well. So right now it's chopped down all of the trees, and this is kind of in line with what I was saying about, you know, early on it's not going to be able to keep up. Um, so you, I've been turning this engine on and off, because um, if we don't do that, these devices are not going to have anything, any work to do, and what will happen is that power will build up in these pipes and blow them up. So for the time being, we'll have to turn them off as we get more machines and stuff. Um, this is going to be our primary power source up here, 
uh, instead of using the lava. Otherwise we'd have to pipe the lava all the way up here, and that's not something that's uh, very attractive as far as having to run up and down the stairs all the time. Um, so we're going to use this uh, biomass up here uh, to supply all the power, and these biomass engines produce quite a bit of power, um, so it's easily going to be enough to do whatever we want to do up here. And typically what I do is I take all the machines that I'm powering with lava right now and I go ahead and power those with the biomass up here. That way everything's within convenient reach. So there's a couple of additional items that we need to make in order to capitalize on some of the uh, forestry items. Um, the idea of manually putting the bucket of water in the um, fermenter to get the biomass uh, is a little too manual uh, for my tastes. You can run into a situation where something runs out, or the water runs out and you're sitting there burning energy. Uh, not doing anything. So one of the things I wanted to make uh, was this something called an aqueous accumulator. And uh, what this will allow us to do is sort of create an infinite water source that will um, supply the fermenter with water uh, automatically. And it's kind of a, a little bit of a cheaty item can't find what I'm looking for and talk at the same time. This is what I want. Okay, so it's kind of a little cheaty. Uh, therm uh, I think it's thermal expansion item, um, but basically what you what you do is you take something that would be like an infinite water source. Basically, you just need to have water on two sides of this thing, and it will automatically accumulate more water. Um, so what you can do at that point is just hook some waterproof piping up to it and um, connect it to your fermenter and it will automatically fill it up with water. There it goes. So we won't have to worry about that aspect of it anymore. Um, the other thing that's kind of tedious and problematic is uh, our need for lava. Uh, I did bring up quite a bit before, but uh, for things like industrial craft that use lava um, that we're not going to have ready access to on the surface, it would be helpful to have some means of acquiring lava. And of course, thermal expansion has a solution for this also in the form of another machine called the Magma Crucible. Um, so we need nether brick for this, so I had to go to the nether and find a fortress and, and grab some nether brick. And um, what you can do with this is supply it with... Uh, where did I put that? Oop. There's like a glitch caused by the uh, mob farm there. Uh, you supply it with nether rack and it will automatically create magma for you. Um, not sure what the best place to put this will be, so I'll just put it right in there. Um, I don't have any engines running right now, uh, but I don't have any uh, magma up here, or uh, another rack up here right now, so I will go and grab some nether rack. Uh, these are just some um, sort of sky bridges that I built to get down to the caves more quickly. I did build uh, another little wheat farm over here that's a little closer to our base of operations for right now. And this is a little sort of water elevator that I built just so I can get up and down uh, to the tunnels below more quickly. chicken farm is going well. I am getting to the point where I can actually harvest some feathers. So that's helpful. I do have another chicken farm on the surface. So a um, little cactus farm down here that we already knew about. And somewhere I have another wreck. 
So I managed to find my nether rack, and um, I've also made this thing called a hopper, and uh, basically consists of iron, a chest, and a stone gear, uh, all of which we've dealt with previously, and you get a hopper, and this is uh, the mod version of a hopper, so you can't actually throw items onto it and have it uh, pick them up. Um, but what you can do is place items into it, and they will automatically feed into uh, this block below it. So, if we feed a bunch of netherrack into this... How much do we have? Okay, that one needs more. Okay, so we have basically five stacks of netherrack that we can process now. Um, so if we turn our engines on, we'll harvest some of these trees, but it will also start to feed energy into this. So at this point we won't be wasting energy to leave this engine on, we'll just be turning it into lava, which can be used as energy for other things. Um, so what I would also like to do, we need to pipe this to the engine at some point. Uh, it doesn't need lava as often, so we might be able to get away with doing that aspect of it manually, especially if we're not turning the engine on and off. Um, cook our chicken. With the blue electric furnace, you basically have free energy as long as these uh, batteries are filled up uh, from, from the sun. Uh, so when I'm not smelting anything, I like to be making smooth stone in it. So once this is done cooking chicken, throw some smooth stone, and then, you know, that'll just make smooth stone in the background since we're not using it for anything else. So at this point, I need to replicate um, some of the items that I have uh, downstairs. Uh, and start building them uh, in this configuration, adding them to this setup here. So I'm going to go ahead and make uh, a pulverizer and a furnace and also an induction furnace and hook them up to this setup so that I'll have the same uh, ore processing capabilities here as I do uh, down in the basement there. Um, but since we've seen all that already, I can do that off camera, and I'll come back when all that's done. <laughs>